thesmartlocal.com Shimmy, last lifestyle like? Wow, I think I've been very sedentary lately because I used to be more active when I wasn't working from home. Since circuit breaker last year actually, I would say that I pretty much stopped exercising entirely almost. I, uh, I don't do anything, I just eat, play games, sleep. Very sloth lah. I would say it's because of procrastination and laziness and uh, more importantly excuses. From 9 to 6, I'm actually very inactive. So my New Year's resolution was actually to be a bit more healthy and to work out a bit more. So I have been doing it by waking up early in the morning at least three times a week to do a little jog before work. When was the last time you exercised? It's been so long right? that I cannot like properly remember when I like intentionally exercise. I low-key hate myself for it but the thing about it is that like the hate right is very much smaller than the laziness. <laughs> I remember Christmas day, I went for a swim. Would that be exercise? Saturday, I worked out on Saturday. What I did was I went cycling from 9 a.m. to about 2 p.m. And then after that, I went for a light swim. That is why I KO'd for three days, so I didn't work out until Tuesday today. On this episode of Sarah's Try, you'll be exercising every day uh, for 30 days. Oh, what a turn! You have to clock 10,000 steps and exercise for at least 30 minutes each day. Like, I have to do both. I hate to say it, but like, you know, I'm 30 this year. Let that sink in. And I think I need to start doing something about it. Okay, I guess it's a good thing because I'm being forced to work out. Working out is never a bad thing, right? But I also don't feel like saying thank you. Eh? <laughs> I told myself that after work today, I was gonna go downstairs to use the fitness corner and work out a little bit, but I'm lazy. <laughs> the inertia to, to actually start working out is Thick and high, okay? So I've walked home. I'm like 9924. So before going up, I'm gonna walk one round around my building just to get it to 10k. 10,000 steps achieved. Good job, John. I'm not even home yet, but I've already hit 11,222 steps already. Today has got to be one of my most active days at work. Because it started off with this shoot, followed by a mini tasting, and I went around town to get ingredients for a cooking trial. Now all I'm left to do is that 30 minute workout, which I'm dreading because I'm already tired to the bones. I am surprised because I thought that I would be a lot more tired, but at the same time, I told myself that I'm gonna go slow. This is a 30 day challenge. I really need to pace myself, but I gotta admit, it feels good to start exercising again. I'm gonna jog around the house. <sighs> they really at least 2.4. Oh wait, it's 30 minutes. <laughs> There's more than 2.4. Total time 30 minutes, 4 kilometers. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the real definition of man tou ta han. And this is my 30 minute activity of the day. It is to play squash. I have only played squash about three times so far. I'm not great, but I know that it's a good way to sweat because it's just running up and down the court. <laughs> when you run for friends, it's more fun! Yeah! <laughs> uh, footage is very bad. <laughs> I'm gonna try the HPB move it. So they have like a five-day plan or whatever. So I'm gonna be starting with that first. the end of today's exercise. One thing I noticed is that I really have to do a lot more stretching and uh, proper warming up and cooling down. Definitely felt some soreness. Chang, 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 guys. I thought that swimming would add on to my total steps for the day, but I'm still at 6,000. I think day three might just be the day of my failure already. <laughs> oh. Later that night. Um, I don't know if I failed, but... I have 1 minute to 12 a.m. and I'm only at 9,661. I felt day 3 get refreshed. Oh my god, I was just a few hundred steps away. Ah, it is day number 4 and my back, right? And my arms are aching today because yesterday I had 
boxing class and boxing uses a lot of like upper body muscles. I figured since I'm sore right, let's do something that's a bit easier. Do you think it's okay if I consider like packing my room as a form of exercise? Huh? Still okay. What can I do right to make it like a real workout? Is it every time I lift something up, then I do a squat? Tomorrow is going to be like a rest day for me. I am going to try to stay active still. Uh. I'm going to be cycling with my girlfriend. Our two bicycler with helmet. Bicycler! Okay, I'm going to wrap my hands right now. And let's see how today goes. Uh. <laughs> It's 3.30 now and I'm finally out of bed because I'm going for a swim. That might not happen if it's not for this challenge. Final stretch of our cycling adventure. Pretty good workout, all things considered. Oh my god, it's already 6 o'clock, right? I'm at 680 steps. What I do want to do now is to clock in and exercise quick. They still send me this guide, right? It's on HPB's website. And it's basically the Move It program. I found out that they have a lot of different types of exercises and there are video tutorials, there are word guides. I see like lower body workouts, Pilates, mega dance. Ooh. Oh, it's like dancing and working out. And that sounds fun actually. Maybe I'll do that. I am at, oh my god, I'm at 3,000 steps already. Eh. I would do this again. And you know what the best part is? Because it's dancing, right? You don't really think so much about the workout. And as much as I'm tired, um, <laughs> I thought that it was actually quite manageable. So even for beginners, if you don't exercise a lot, right? I think this will be okay for you. So last night, I did the HIIT workout one. Today, I'm going to do HIIT workout two. Right, inhale, exhale. Don't forget to smile. Nice. Here's the push-up. The rest. Successful 11K. And now it's time for the exercise part. Today I'm quite glad because this is the first time in a long time. Can my colleague look at me and tell me? Hey John, you look like you lost weight. Great success. Great success, ladies and gentlemen. It's 11.59 p.m. and my total exercise today is 67 minutes and I hit 10,000 steps. Hopping to work once again. I don't know, it feels strange if I don't walk to work and exercise during lunch. I almost feel like I cannot don't do it anymore. It's like something that's so ingrained in me. It even like affects the shoes that I pick, what clothes I wear to work. Like I make these choices to, to fit the exercise that I'm going to do. I'm going to exercise for 30 minutes with my mom and she's very, very happy about it. So she always asks us to exercise with her, we say don't want. But anyway, my mom exercises every day and I'm just going to follow one of her workouts for the 30 minutes. My brother is laughing at me. Now I have one more hour before the day ends. So let's try and clock in and exercise. I'm so tired, but <laughs> I'm gonna do this. It is currently about 6.45. The moon is still there. We're going hiking. I know I'm gonna clock in a lot of steps, but I think it can also count as exercise. I love hikes eh. Look at everything, it's so peaceful. Feels like I'm in another country for... I think it's going to be over an hour long hike. 
I like it. I love nature. So I'm gonna scroll through the movie guides. I want to work out my arms because I love wearing sleeveless clothes or like dresses. So I'm gonna try this upper body workout. Okay, don't ask me why, but I have a pair of these snatched dumbbells. So I'm gonna use the heavy one for my left arm and the light one for my right arm to balance it out. Actually, the workout that is in the video, right, is somewhat like the stuff that I've been doing at the gym. But I think the information is good because they teach you on not only the kinds of workout, what it's for, but also the form, which I heard is very important. I never had a personal trainer and I've always got my info from the net, so I anyhow do, which might be bad. I mean, that's why I got all the eggs, bad eggs, knee eggs. Etc. Brand new day, brand new afternoon, before lunch is the perfect time to exercise. Today's exercise is actually a bit tougher. This is really tiring and my legs are very sore. Chow highly recommended Mega Dance, so stick around if you want to see me flail about with my four left arms. Four, 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 I think um, I need to text Chow and say thank you to her because the mega dance was really much, much more fun than any of my exercise that I've been doing in the gym. I think this shall be my workout if I'm feeling jaded for my daily exercise. Look, it's our favourite coach. She's back. This is Coach Natalie. I've seen her in multiple videos already. I like it that in the videos they have three coaches so that you have the normal exercise, you have the progression which is a bit more difficult and then the regression which is supposed to be simpler for everyone to follow. Side to side. What time now? 10 33. <laughs> we have been shooting from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. Stood the whole day, walked the whole day, and now we're gonna play badminton! No, no, no. <laughs> I was saying foosball. We played foosball this time. <laughs> yeah, so we are committed, okay? We're gonna play basketball, badminton. <laughs> so you know what? See how tired I feel. I'm damn tired. I'm excited. Woo! Woo! I was very excited. You know what? Damn chong, you know, I ran, I surpassed the 10k steps a day, and then later in the middle and at the end, right, I almost like deflated. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also because there was more workload. When like work comes in, right, it's a bit harder. Yeah. But I think there are fun times as well. Like when Chow introduced the HPV, you know, the dancing one. What's it called? Uh? Mega dance! Yeah. <laughs> Mega dance! I think one of the main benefits that I took away from the 30 day challenge is that. I may not have like really seen a real physical change in my body or anything like that, mm. but it's very much how I feel. I feel stronger, I feel more energetic. Mm -hmm. You may not look different, but it doesn't matter because you feel different. Frankly speaking, because I'm quite a creature of habit, so I figured I should try one that is like can fit into the schedule regardless of time. Mm. So I went to like movie.sg, then under the infographic side, right, there's this five day work plan thing. I just kept doing every day, so it became like a it became like a routine. Eh? Mm -hmm. I feel that in order to prevent injury and unrealistic expectations, you must always start small and progress. And you know, actually, right, that's what I kind of did, ma. So like, week one is like a climatization, and after that, like, beginner, advanced, then final, 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 that kind of thing, right? Mm. And the movie.sg exercise that I did, right, the five day a week exercises, actually increases in intensity. For the most part, right, before I started this challenge, I was quite dormant. I didn't really go out and have a routine to exercise, but I feel like this challenge jump-started that whole exercise habit for me again. And wow, really, it made so much difference to how I felt in terms of my energy levels. Mm. I think exercising just gets your blood pumping. Mm. And with this movement and activity, right, and all the blood flow, you generally do feel healthier. You know, like wearing a smartwatch made me realize how little I actually move when I'm writing at work. I get about just 1k by, the, by 6 o'clock. I'm like, oh my goodness. 
Yes. Mm, but one of the things that I don't like about this exercise, this this activity. Why, why, when go at 12 12 a.m. or the the the, the steps don't count. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So angry, you know. Then you know the, the one time uh, I plan my activity next exercise, I go cycling. No steps counted. <laughs> But it's okay, because in the end, I still clear lah. Will you continue with this challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not every single day lah, but just more constantly, and then have some rest in between, and then, you know, if you don't want to go to the gym, the gym is closed, you know, open your laptop and check out resources online, mm -hmm. which is everywhere, and like, over there for you already. So don't be lazy, you know, just move your hands first, then later your finger, then later your body. Oh. <laughs> I think this is definitely not like a short-term challenge. We're not supposed to just do it and chill for one month. Mm -hmm. It's more of like inculcating that good habit so that we can create a healthy lifestyle for ourselves. I think for me, definitely, I will try to keep this active lifestyle uh, that is way more sustainable for me. And I think it's like what's important is the for me because it's like personalized. Yeah. In what may be sustainable for me may be sustainable for everyone, yeah. right? And sustainability is important. If you'd like to start being more active, you can check out movie.sg for more resources on exercises that you can do at home and in the office. Thank you for watching this episode of Singaporeans Try. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell below. And watch our other videos over there. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Boom. <laughs> <laughs>